You gotta lull yourself to sleep with the comforting sounds of The Exorcist. Or you can make yourself a delicious meal with Blue Apron. We'll hear more about that at the end of the show. <laughs> is anybody else sweating buckets? Yeah, I'm sweating yeah, buckets. it's pretty hot if you want to turn on the air we got this here in the back. Oh, I feel great. You oh. can see all the fucking shit all over my arm. Oh, yeah. Being, being attacked bugs. by I still, I still, I have those too. I have those yeah. all over my... You guys have a deal yet? Look, there's Elbows. Like, look, on my bit. neck. Yeah. Mosquito was like... Really? And was like, neck? I'll get to his esophagus. <laughs> they were trying to kill James. Jeez. They were going after me like crazy. Hey. They're all over me. Guys, vacation is hard. It really is. Look at this one. <laughs> I didn't even see this one until I got off the goddamn plane. I'm coughing my brains out over here. I'm waking up like the Crypt Keeper every right. four hours. Let's go back. The <laughs> intro will be when Elise spit into the trash can. All right, first question. <laughs> first question this week comes from uh, SuperPi64. Hey, Funhouse. I have some midterm tests coming up in school. Ooh. What are some sneaky ways to cheat? You know, a lot of people don't know this, but you can carry information in your head in right. a test. True. Wow. That's weird, right? If every day you just memorize a little bit of it, mm -hmm. by the time the test rolls around, you'll just know it all. <laughs> and then the questions will come up and you'll be like, I know the answer to this. It's stupid. And you write it down and you get a good grade. Sounds hard. Well, I mean, take some planning. It doesn't sound, it doesn't sound fair. That's studying, I think. I think that's, that's what that is. I always called it brain bagging because I'm putting things into my brain bag uh, and then I take them out later. Keep it secret. Keep it safe. This one you need a partner for. Preferably a female partner or Ooh. someone that likes to wear panties. Wow. Um, I'm not limiting. And then you write all the answers on the panties. Then you put a mirror on the toe of your shoe. Oh, upskirts! So you can go that. But then you, all the answers are right, basically in her all, vagina. All the yeah. answers are right there. Yeah, B for beaver. And you also get pictures. Send me pictures. Mine, mine was similar. Uh, I was gonna say, I, like lots of people write it on their hat, write it on their hand, or whatever. I was gonna say you write it on a piece of paper, and you shove it right up your butthole. Oh, um, I see. easy answer. And then you basically just, you just, you know, you have to squeeze it out when you're in the test. In the test. Okay. And then you squeeze it out. If you look down, got it. Yeah. Right, right back up in. There. Oh. Right back up in there. <laughs> <laughs> you're not concerned that the teacher will notice that you're shitting yourself 34 times during a test? Well, you get really good at your facial. No one knows he's got his fingers up his asshole right now. Oh, Stone he cold. can't find the sheet. And there it is. <laughs> wow. uh, easy solution. You just find the smartest kid in the uh, the classroom. You befriend him. This is a long con. Mm -hmm. uh, at some point, you lure him down to your basement and you take his skin. Mm. Make sure to pull the skin tight around the eyes so it looks right. <laughs> Elise, how would you cheat? Um, I would get, you know, those those play th things that football players wear on their wrists? Mm -hmm. Oh, Paper. yeah. I, I would get that and then I would write the answers on it and then when somebody confronts me, I just tell them oh, I'm the captain of the football team. Yeah. JV, JV, so nobody's suspicious. Oh, okay. nice. Yeah. Boo, 32! Boo, 32 hot! Matt Peak. You just record all the lessons leading up to that test, and then you listen to them at night as you fall asleep. What about the new Taylor Swift album? We gotta listen to that. Well, yeah, mix that in there. <laughs> <laughs> Next comment from Mr. Awesome 2332 In honor of Black History Month, I'm jerking off exclusively to black women. What is everyone at Funhouse doing for Black History Month? I'm just masturbating as usual. No change for you? Um, I only ride on the back of the bus. That's where I do my deeds. I was only going to drink out of certain water fountains. Uh, I stopped smoking pot, and I'm only doing whippets. Uh, Matt Peak? Uh, watch lots of movies with my favorite African-American actors in them. Such as? Name, yeah, name one. Name mm. six. Ooh, six, that's tough. Independence Day. Uh, that's yeah. good. Will Smith, that's, that's one. Who else? Uh, Crimson Tide. Uh, Denzel Washington, yes. Okay. <laughs> Stand By Me. That's it. Uh, wait, wait, wait. No, that's no, not it. Lean on, Lean on Me. Lean On Me. Lean On Me. With Morgan nope. Freeman. What? Rambo. It's Predator. Predator. Predator, yeah. Predator, yeah, yeah I got it. Is, is, Ar Arnold's the lead in that one, but... Carl Weathers is in it too. Yeah, he's in it. All right, then ha Happy Gilmore then. Uh, Happy Gilmore. Oh, yeah. Happy Gilmore. Carl Weathers again. Good. Carl Good. Weathers. Meteor Man. Meteor Man 6. Oh. In Nanchiamer, uh, Rooster Teeth has on the spot. Achievement Hunter had presented with comment, what horrible game show will you develop? I like those Japanese game, game shows and they make people cut their fingers off. What about what's in my butt? Oh, let's get John Risinger to host this. Yeah. Okay. All right, so you get put under, right? And they put something in your butt. And so then you get a hood pulled off of you. What's in your butt? And then you have to kind of like- You only have a half hour to guess yeah. what's in there. And then eventually they'll have like clues. You can ask for clues. Maybe you get a silhouette. 
or something. And then it's like uh, Family Feud rules where you've had a, a member of your family backstage blindfolded and then they have to come and touch what was in your butt and figure out what it was. Oh, it's the yeah. entire fire truck. What happened? Can you poop it out? No, that, no, that's no. the finale. That's the finale. Oh, that's okay. the finale. There you go. Show them what's in that butt. They could put poop in your butt, and then they'd have to. You'd have to guess <laughs> that poop poops in your butt. It could be anything. You have to freeze it first. Don't ask me how I know that. Next question, Lawrence. All right, the rad guy 101 writes. Since Lawrence has Dude Soup, <laughs> James has Talking Stockings, and Adam now has the movie podcast. What podcast would the rest of the Fun House of Fun House love to make? I know what Bruce wants to do. What do I want to do? That podcast called What's in My Butt. No. <laughs> I a, already do that. It's oh. talking it's talking what's in my butt. Talking what's it's after. Did you guys see that race car? There are lots of sharp edges on that thing. Yeah, boy. Like, impressive. Butt. Really impressive. Well, at least would have the hot cast where she just sits down and she goes, Whoo, it's hot. Boy, it's hot. I'm sweating. Anyone else sweating? sweating up. That's it. She'd have celebrities on and she'd just ask them <laughs> if they're sweating too. Matt Peak, what about you? It would just be about Steven Spielberg and his movies. About Steven Spielberg and his movies. Mm -hmm. The Steve cast. That's nice. the working that's title. Great. <laughs> that's, that's all Steven, I got. But that's okay. <laughs> I've never heard oh, of him called they, Steve Spielberg once. It'd be the Spielberg. It's oh. like a spiel. Uh, I, Matt Peake, he says no, it's called the Steve oh, Cast. Oh, I'm sorry, Steve Matt. Cast. Hey. <laughs> Welcome to the Steve Cast. Find us on iTunes. Yeah, Steve week cast. 132, Steve Spielberg <laughs> refused our invite. <laughs> Uh, I watched Goonies again the other day. Uh, thoughts? <laughs> um, Elise, what about what, the next question? Marty Fraser, 98. Funhouse, I'm losing my job. I need to find something new. Suggestions? And how do I handle this last month at work where I don't give a fuck? Just do your job the best you can because you're going to need those references, man. Uh, you don't realize it. That's a bullshit right answer. You got to be drunk every fucking day like Lawrence. Yeah. yeah. If Lawrence, it's not even his last day. And Lawrence is drunk at every single, every single yeah. day. Every month is my last month. That's how you sail through work. You get super wasted. Do nothing. You tell everybody off and yeah. you do nothing. Unwarranted emotional outbursts roughly every hour on the hour. But if that's what you do, then what do you do to kick back then? Oh, I get even drunker. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> You never see me weepy drunk. It's pathetic. I think that if you work like in a cubicle with a bunch of other people, you should pick some sort of project for yourself, like build a canoe. Mm. Like you should do something, drag in a la large tree, sand it down, do everything Productive. right there yeah. mm -hmm. at your desk. And then that way, not only are you getting paid, and you're, but you're also building a canoe. An escape boat. Out of here, suckers! <laughs> Adam, you have an answer? Yeah, I mean, like with most things, I get most of my advice or life advice from the film uh, Need for Speed. Mm. Just do what the Mr. Robot guy does and just strip naked and walk out for some reason while you go get in a car with uh, Jesse from Breaking Bad. Matt Peak. Don't burn your bridges. Well, yeah. Matt, what if you wanted to go back and work with Robot Chicken again? Could you? Um... Or is there no going back? Is that kind Probably of not going back. It's he, a whole he different. Out, he cursed out South Green. No, I never did that. Reason. Did you call him a little redheaded piece of shit? No. I saw him do it. Uh, Matt Peak, last question. All right, Bobby the Corky. What would be Funhouse new list of wonders of the world? Those public toilets in Sydney. Those things are oh, fucking yeah, amazing. That was great. Where yeah. did you guys see these? I didn't see they're these. They're everywhere. everywhere. That's all why the they're streets. so amazing. They're hidden in plain sight. Uh -huh. I just poop in the ocean. I would say Titanic. Oh, yeah. Impressive, unsinkable ship. I would agree. I'm going to say China's Grave. China's Grave. Mm. I was just going to say the Chipotle down the street because I'm oh, there every the single day. one? Day. Yeah. And it's a good. wonder they feed me. Yeah, it's real <laughs> close to you. Peak, uh, what about you? Antarctica. Antarctica. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking real hard how to say it right and I messed uh, it up. <laughs> well, there's only one way. Adam, do you want to answer? Uh, I was going to say the hit new uh, Steve cast. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a, that's yeah, definitely the eighth wonder of the world. It's the only wonder of the world you can download. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Hard to find, yeah. but yeah. we get it. Yeah. Broadcast live from Antarctica. I know, from Antarctica. I want to hear your thoughts on the Lost World. You wouldn't download a pyramid. Um, we have one more question. Oh. From Shen Mula. Each member gets a free apron. What color would you pick? What? I think we'd all pick blue! Boo. 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 You like that? I didn't have to go digging for that question too hard. Um, we'd pick blue apron. Uh, this episode of Open Houses. Brought to you by Blue Apron. Um, check out this week's menu and get your first three meals free with free shipping by going to blueapron.com slash open house. A um, couple things we got up on the menu. Mm. We got some cashew chicken stir fry with cashew tango mandarin. Stir fry, man. Nice. You, maybe you'll be my, my you'll say my uh, item thing. Got it. Next oh. up we got Cecilia cauliflower pizza, fresh mozzarella, no, oregano. You, you got Cecilia cauliflower pizza. Yeah, you have to say it like uh. racist. And then uh, you're going to love how good it feels and tastes to create incredible home cooked meals with Blue Apron. So don't wait. 
Uh, that's blueapron.com slash open house. Blue Apron, a better way to cook. Thank you, Blue Apron. You didn't say uh, the crispy barramundi. Yeah. Ooh. I didn't want it to get any worse. Barramundi. Did you say cumin crusted pork with fig and blood orange pan sauce? Mm. Okay. I've, been, I've been catching that barramundi left good. and right in Final Fantasy 15. It's driving me crazy. Blueapron.com slash open house. Blueapron.com slash open house. Nice. You need a tambourine. Mine would be called Tropical Disaster, and it would have tinges of coconut and and palm trees and, and fresh ocean air, but it also smell like when the waves come up and then cover an entire Indonesian village. Oh, yeah. And then every, all, all the sewers kind of rise out. How would you advertise that? Probably with the bodies. 